In this video, we will see the third type of AWAP reporting that is ALV reports. So let us look at the agenda for this session. First we will cover the overview of ALV reports, then we will see the function modules that are being used in ALV. Then at the last we will see an example ALV report. So ABAP List Viewer or ALV is a predefined report format in SAP. Moreover, ALV allows us to perform multiple functions on the output of a particular program like sorting, arranging, filtering and retrieving the data. So you can also use various ALV function modules to perform functions on the data of the report. So sometimes the cases arise in SAP when the output of a particular column exceeds more than 255 characters in length. So in these cases, we can use ALV functions. An ALV report can display up to 90 columns or more than with, with various display options. So these are some of the mod function modules that are being used in ALV like reuse ALV grid display and there is reuse ALV list display. So this grid display is to get the output in the form of a grid and list display is to get the output in the form of a list itself. Then we have multiple other also like reuse ALV commentary write. So it is used to display the top of page and logo on end, end of list. So suppose and there are multiple other function modules also. So this is a sample ALV report here. So here we have defined our internal table that is IT underscore SPFLI which is the type table of SPFLI which is a custom uh, predefined structure defined in the SAP. Then we are selecting sub data, we are putting it into internal table. Then we have used this call function reuse alv underscore grid underscore display. So this will display our output in the format of a grid. So here we can see all this output is in the form of a grid. So we can see here these are some buttons provided here. So this particular button is used for sorting and we can see here one more button is there which is used for filtering. Then there is this to total button that we can aggregate it and there is this download. We can download a full output in the form of a PDF or something like that. And then there is a change layout button also. So now we will see practically the how to create ALV reports. So we have already seen classical reports, interactive reports. Now comes the ALV reports. So here in this particular example, we will be making use of function module that is provided by ALV report. That is we will be using reuse ALV grid display and reuse ALV list display. So for that I have already created an report. So we will be making use of that one. So this is the report that I have created. So let us display it. So here this is the report name and then we are making use of Mara table. Therefore we have also made uh, an internal table imara which is ty uh, type table of Mara itself and work area is also type Mara and then we have made use of select options SO Matner for Mara Matner and a parameter is also been defined here which is P MTART which is type Mara Mat MTART then this event is getting started so as discussed start of selection event is a default event um, here we write our select queries and business logic is being written in the start of selection. So we are making use of subroutines here that is two subroutines are being called that is get data and display data. So let us see what all these uh, subroutines are. So first is the get data. So what we are doing we are just making use of select query. So um, select star from Mara into table internal table and where Matner in so SO Matner SO Matner we d already defined here in the select option so whatever value range we are giving it will come here where Matner in and we have given another statement that is MTART equals to P underscore MTART so overall it will select data from Mara table into internal table i mara where we are giving matner number there is a range of matner number if we execute it so like if we are giving it 1 2000 so this range would go there in the select option moreover one more condition was there where mat 
mtart equals to this number this input field so here we can see so two conditions were there so based on this it will fetch the data and it will fetch it into internal table that is imara so this was being called here this subroutine was called here now the second subroutine is display data so to display all that is to display the data which is in this particular internal table we are making use of display data where we are making use of call function that is a func predefined function provided by alv grid display so here the exporting parameters are this mara structure name is mara itself and i callback program that is it is a system variable which is re returning the report name that we are using so and the table that is t out tab equals to i mara so what all data we got here through this select query we are passing on to here so basically it will rep um, the output would be in a grid format since we are making use of grid display here so let's see we have already saved it now let us execute it so here we will be providing a range of value of matner that is material number and here we would provide as thousand itself so all the material number between this range would be appearing here moreover we have to provide this particular field so mtart so let's provide it as fert okay now let us execute it so here we go so we are getting five entries here and with multiple data multiple columns so in the specialty of alv reports is that in the output we are getting all these functionalities that is sorting sorting in descending order so this is already being sorted in descending order let us sort it in descending order so we have to sort it on the basis of material column so this is the one so it is being sorted in the descending order so that's it so similarly many other options are also there suppose there is this total so let us see our field which can be total so this is the field here we can apply total so here we go we are getting the total so similarly there are multiple other features that as alv has provided we can make use of so this was the grid display that we have seen so the background is blue here so if i change my grid display to list display so the background would be white in color i will just show you i make it editable i will save it check and activate it. Uh, I will provide the same input and MTRT was FERT so here we can see this is the list display that LV is showing so similarly there are m many other function modules that LV re reporting provides so here we have just make, made use of two function modules so i hope the concept of alv reports is clear to you so with the help of two function modules we have explained you the functionality of alv reports so that's it for this video thanks for watching